Hey everyone, I'm Ricky, and today I'm going to be watching The Last of Us Season 1, Episode 2. This one's called Infected. The last episode, the premiere was crazy. We followed Joel and his daughter for the first, like, third of it, where the virus started spreading towards people in the United States. Chaos ensued. Long story short, there's a military that was deployed. They were ordered to kill anybody who was infected. They had thought that Joel's daughter was infected after she got hurt. Military guy shot at them. Tommy, Joel's brother, came, shot the military guy in the head to save them. Unfortunately, Joel's daughter passed away from that. We fast forwarded to, I think, 20 years later in Boston, where Joel now is. He used to be in Texas. We learned that Tommy's been gone for a few weeks. He went all the way over to Wyoming or something for some reason. I'm assuming to collect supplies or something. And then we also got introduced to Ellie, who has some special purpose that Marlene, the leader of the Fireflies, was talking about. And we saw that Ellie does have the bite little infection thing, but it's been three weeks and they've learned at this point that infections don't take more than 24 hours. So she's allegedly immune from it. She, Joel, and Joel's friend Tess are now on a hunt, a mission, to go find Tommy and then also deliver Ellie to where they need to deliver her to. So, a lot going on, but I'm excited to get into this one. Uh, this one is a lot shorter. It's about 25 minutes shorter than the last episode. I'm assuming the first episode was just like hour and a half special movie length type feature and then the rest of them are gonna be normal lengths of episodes, which I'm fine with. So before I get into it, uh, like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Consider supporting me on Patreon. I'm gonna have the full uncut reaction to this episode and the entire season on there. And without further ado, let's get into it. Apa Bapak tidak salah orang? Ali Bu Ratna, Profesor Mikologi, Universitas Indonesia. I was gonna say she must be some sort of like scientist or researcher or something. Ini opiocordisep. Tapi kenapa menggunakan klorazol untuk mempersiapkan slide? Kami gunakan sebagai persiapan pengambilan sampel dari tubuh manusia, Bu Ratna. Kordisep tidak bisa bertahan pada manusia. Okay, so I'm assuming this is like kind of an origin story type thing where they found someone that was already infected and they want to like research it and see if they can treat it maybe or just like keep studying it. But then I'm assuming that's just going to lead to what the outbreak is. You know, one person's going to infect another and then so on and so forth. Oh, is she going to cut into it? I don't want to see that. No, 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 no. no. That's disgusting! Oh my god. Well, that would mean there was more than just that person then. She has her fingers right in there. Oh, oh my god. Ugh. 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 So gross. <laughs> so gross. It's like. Fungi just like growing inside them. Blah. Seorang perempuan yang tiba-tiba melakukan kekerasan menyerang empat orang rekan kerja dan di tiga orang di antaranya. Mereka kemudian mengunci perempuan itu di kamar mandi sampai kemudian polisi datang. Perempuan itu mencoba menyerang dan terpaksa harus ditembak. Lalu bagaimana dengan orang yang digigitnya? Dibawa untuk diobservasi. Sayangnya beberapa jam kemudian telah menjadi keharusan sesuai dengan prosedur. Mereka harus tetap dieksekusi. Siapa yang menggigit perempuan itu, Pak? Yeah, that's the question. They executed all the people that they know about, but who is the one who started biting her? Saya telah menghabiskan waktu hidup saya untuk mempelajari hal ini. Tidak ada obat dan tidak ada vaksin. Jadi apa yang harus kami lakukan? <laughs> Try to survive. Bom. Mulailah pengoboman. Jeez. Bom <laughs> seluruh kota dan seluruh orang yang ada di dalamnya. I mean, it's extreme, but it's certainly an effective method if all of the zombies are in there still, but we don't know if they traveled outside of it. Because everyone's gonna die and turn into zombies anyways if you don't do something. Saya hanya ingin bersama dengan keluarga, bahkan suami dan anak-anak saya. Okay. Well, shit. <laughs> We're out in the open city, why aren't we getting swarmed? Don't worry about that. Well, I'm gonna. There's not gonna be anything bad in here? Just you. Oh, funny. <laughs> she made it through the fucking night. It doesn't matter. It's gonna happen sooner or later. 
All right, we're still close to the wall. We sneak her back into the QZ. We find a different way to get the battery. This is our best shot. Dude, how is it that in the past 20 years you haven't seen anyone turn more than 24 hours later and it's been three weeks with her? I mean, I get his like trepidation about everything, but... Is it chicken? Yep. Probably until they get it from smugglers. Guess not you guys. <laughs> this season is gonna be filled with sass and I fucking love it. Joel and I aren't good people. We're doing this for us. Because apparently you're worth something. But we don't know what you're worth if we don't know what we have. There's a Firefly base camp somewhere out west. With doctors. They're working on a cure. Mm -hmm. I've heard this before. And whatever happened to me is, is the, the key, key to, to finding find the vaccine. That's what this is. It doesn't matter if she is or she isn't what the Fireflies say. If they believe that she is, then we get what we want. If she so much as twitches. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> <laughs> My God. <laughs> Can I have a gun? Absolutely no. not. Okay, geez, it's fine. I have to throw a fucking sandwich at them. A feeling that sandwich is gonna come into play later. Maybe she could actually use that to distract a zombie or something. Is this where they bombed? Yeah. They hit most of the big cities like this. They had to slow the spread somehow. It worked here, but it didn't in most places. Okay, so every country had the same idea, just trying to bomb everybody, but clearly that did not work. How did you get bit? The old mall in the QZ. The one that's sealed off and boarded up and no one's supposed to go in ever, that one. Whatever, I snuck in. Didn't think there was gonna be anything in there, and then one just came at me out of nowhere. Thought I got away, but. So it was just you in there alone? Yeah. Lies. See, now, I, the thing is, I wouldn't trust anything she said if I were them to, especially because all they've been talking about is how they were gonna shoot her, and they're so ready to, you know? Everyone said the open city was crazy. Swarms of infected running around everywhere. Not exactly like that. You know, people like to tell stories. What was that? Let's keep moving. Why doesn't Tess have something to protect herself? Why is Joel the only one with a gun right now? One of the three of you is protected right now. Well, I, I don't know how to swim. Seriously? You think we have pools in the QZ? No, smart ass. I mean... <laughs> I would not trust whatever the fuck is in that water. I'd be like, you could carry me, Joel. <laughs> I guess I have a, a question. If they ever get attacked, would Ellie, could they just like use Ellie as a human shield or something? Like, will she be fine if they did that? Nice knife. Where'd you learn to do that? The circus. <laughs> so, uh, you two like, uh... Pass. <laughs> how'd you end up in Boston? Pass. How long do infected live? Oh, I thought you went to school. It's a really shitty. <laughs> Some last about a month or two, but there's others been walking around about 20 years. Interesting. I thought they were just constantly moving around alive all the time, like never die, you know? Oh, nice. Are they all just having a nap? <laughs> oh, interesting. They're connected. The fungus also grows underground. Long fibers like wires, some of them stretching over a mile. You step on a patch of cordyceps in one place, and you can wake a dozen infected from somewhere else. Now they know where you are, now they come. You're not immune from being ripped apart. That is true. That answers my question from earlier, I guess. I didn't take into account the fact that they could literally just bite her arm off if they really wanted to. Okay. They haven't like fully encountered one yet and I'm assuming now that they're going to this museum. This is like the third location they've been in. Third time's the charm, you know. Why are you touching that with your bare hands? It's bone dry. Could mean they're all finally dead in there. Hmm. Could. If you come up against anything, you get behind us and you stay there, okay? Yes. She is not going to follow that advice. Oh, Tess does have a gun, okay. 
Not only is it the third location that they're checking in where they haven't been attacked yet, but it's also dark. So that's how you know that they're definitely going to get attacked in here. I guess we should have gone this way in the first place. I don't oh, speak to you soon. What the fuck did that? Maybe he was attacked outside. I don't hear it. Who would you hear? Are you saying that something did that? Okay, from this point forward, we are silent. Not quiet. If you're just leaving this man there, though, you couldn't really shoot him in the head unless you have a silencer or something, but it didn't look like they did. Uh, that scared me, and that was also gross, and ew, and bleh. It's a lot of open area, the music stopped. And they are blocked in there, and this isn't good. <laughs> Oh, those noises. Oh my gosh. Okay. Is that true for all of them where they can't see? Or is that just like this specific type of infected that's all weird clicky? <laughs> Tess, come on, shoot better, please. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, it took a while for this episode to get going, but oh my lord, I am tense as fuck right now. Yeah. That was smart. That was my question. I was like, okay, if you made noise and they know where you are, can't you just make noise elsewhere and then run away and be quiet? And I guess you can. I mean, it sounds easier said than done, right? Especially if you're being attacked by one of those things. Oh, it's so close. I don't like that noise. You definitely should have given Ellie a gun. If she's good with a knife, she must be good with a gun, right? Oh my god. Oh, nice! <laughs> I thought she just hit it. Okay, well they just wasted like two full clips of bullets on two zombies. Or two infected, I don't even know if you call them zombies in this world, but... You all right? Well, I didn't shit my pants, so... <laughs> You fucking kidding me? I mean, if it didn't work on her, like, getting infected the first time, I'm assuming it's not gonna work the second time. They did exactly what I asked about, was basically using her as a human shield. I mean, unintentionally, but it worked, so... <laughs> you mean the first bite can take, but what about the second? I thought you just take the good news. Can you do that? Make to think for once, maybe we can actually win. <laughs> Tess of anybody should understand why he's so cautious about everything, especially if they've been around each other for that long, and she must know all the shit that's happened to him. But I also get her trying to be optimistic about something so that they're not constantly like, oh shit, this is all, you know, going to shit. Ugh. What the fuck is going on? I don't know. They went inside. Well, and it looks like it was recently by how fresh that blood looks too, which means that maybe they haven't fully turned yet, whoever they're looking for. I see more guns. Ellie, pick one up. One of them got bit. The healthy ones fought the sick ones, everyone lost. Tess, what are you doing? Okay, there must have been one that survived though, no? I mean, one of them's gotta have a map on them, right? It's over. We are going home. This is not my fucking home. Damn. <laughs> I mean, our luck had to run out sooner or later. So she never going back over to the Fedra place or the QZ? She's infected. Wait, what? Show me. No. No, she was like one of my favorite fucking characters. Are you serious? Is she immune? Maybe? Fuck! Oops. I, 
I was worried for her in the last, like, uh, battle thing, whatever you want to call it, when they were getting attacked. This is real. Josh is fucking real. I need you to get her to Bill and Frank's. No. They'll take her off your hands. They'll handle it from here. No, no, no. Ah, fuck. I don't want Tess to die. I like her so much. She was, like, my favorite one. You keep her alive. And you said everything right. Oh, oh my dead. God. Please say yes, Joel. Please. Oh, that must be the, like, the alerting thing, so there's gonna be more that come. Oh, does that, like, awaken them? Interesting. Or that's just what they've- Oh, fuck. It's every one of them that was lying down. Okay. Time to get out of there, like, right now. What are you doing? Making sure oh, yeah, burn the, the place you. down. Is she gonna... <sighs> say who you can say. I'm so annoyed right now. <laughs> I mean, I, li I guess that's, like, a good thing. Yeah, Joel's not gonna listen to you. I thought Joel was gonna have to do it himself, but that relieves him of that, I guess. Why? Oh my gosh. She seems fine, right? Oh my God, Tess, please. You can't just die like this. You gotta like go out heroically or something. Uh, uh, oh, 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 oh my god! <coughs> uh. This, this, I'm sorry, this fungi thing is the most disgusting thing I think I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god. Fuck, it has. I literally, like, I'm glad I didn't speak it into existence because, like, I wasn't manifesting, but it happened anyways. I was thinking in, earlier in the episode, I was like, I hope Tess doesn't die. Great. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna have to get used to trying to, like, not root for characters in the show. I thought she was gonna last so much longer than that. And I was wondering, too, why there was, like, 13, 15 minutes left after they got attacked. Oh my god. <laughs> Why does this show do that? Come on. That was a good episode. You know, I I think this show could stand to be like five minutes shorter per episode. There's there's a lot of walking around and look at look at this these CGI buildings and now look at these CGI buildings, you know? I get that it's trying to build tension, but I think that for the entire time that they were walking and just going from place to place to place to place before they finally got attacked. There wasn't much of like development with them. There wasn't much that they were doing. Really, the tension wasn't rising at all until they got into the dark area. The length of the episodes may be like a tiny bit of an issue, but I'm still really enjoying it so far. I'm upset that Tess just died. I really did not think she was gonna die. Also, I don't know like, okay, if they ever do find Tommy, number one, is he already gonna be affected? Number two, Joel had said earlier that Tommy turned on him or Marlene turned Tommy against him or the Fireflies turned Tommy against him, something like that. So I don't even know if he's gonna be on their side if they do find him, if he's not already infected, you know what I mean? The only reason why they're traveling around this place is because they need a car battery, but even if they have a car battery and they drive a car around, wouldn't that make enough noise for like every infected possible that you pass by to just start charging towards you, then what would you do at that point, you know? I guess we're gonna have to see. Yeah, overall good episode. I heard a lot about episode three. Very excited about that one. I just know that there's some gay shit in it, so that's fun. Yeah, let me know what you thought about this episode in the comments and like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you on episode three. Bye.